Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're gonna be looking at Star Wars The Black Series Darth Malgus. Now this is a gaming grade subline of the Black Series and this figure and this character actually comes from a game called Star Wars The Old Republic. This is one of those Star Wars games that uh, I never played so I have no connection to the character other than what I saw from videos on YouTube but I do plan to play the game so don't hate me for not playing the game, but even though I have no connection to the character and to the game, I do have a connection to a great action figure. And from day one, when Hasbro revealed this guy, he looked menacing, they made a whole new sculpt for this guy, gave him some nice articulation, soft goods cape and hood, and a unique looking lightsaber. That being said, let's take a quick look at the box. Here we can see render image of the character, a short bio, he is number 24 in the gaming grades line. On the side of the box we see a great illustration of the character, another render on the front of the box and here on the other side we can see the figure and one accessory, the lightsaber that uh, this guy comes with and down here we can see the height of this guy. He is 7 inches or 17.8 centimeters high. Obviously this is one of the largest figure that we ever got in the Black Series line. But that's it for the box, let's take a closer look at our figure. Straight from the box he comes like this with his hood up and I love the way that they did the hood. They stitched it on both sides here so that it holds the shape like this. You do have the option of pulling the hood down like this and so now we can see the head sculpt. And the head sculpt looks really really good. I mean look at all these wrinkles on the forehead and then those menacing eyes. Here you can see the redness of the damage, his breathing apparatus with all of these nicely sculpted details, red buttons and uh, here on the chest some more technical details with some more paint. This is a softer piece of plastic that works as a shoulder pauldron and uh, it's on a ring on the inside of the butterfly joint so that it does move out of the way when you articulate his arms. We see the sculpt of the arms that looks beautiful. These gauntlets with a lot of these technical details, buttons, some of them are painted. The belt that also has some silver paint on it and here in the back you can see more of those sculpted details that look really good belt as well and then his legs look also really nice knee pads large boots with these shins he has a large feet which is great for balancing and for dynamic poses you can be sure that this guy probably won't fall off your shelf now even though the figure looks amazing it could use a little bit of wash of dry brushing that would uh, bring out all of these details even more because for the most part the body does look uh, kind of flat because there is no wash and uh, from what we saw on let's say Black Crescenten or even on uh, Magnaguard which is a standard release Hasbro can give us dry brushing on figures when they want to. For some reason they decided not to do it on this guy but it is what it is the figure still looks good. The cape is of a nice soft material it's pliable and uh, with a little bit of uh, cheating with wire you can achieve some great dynamic floating poses with this cape. I'm extremely satisfied with all of the things that they've done on this figure. There is also a feature on this figure. If you remove the head, this uh, breathing apparatus can be removed. It is connected to the head here in the back, so be careful not to break it. You can see that there is a fully sculpted head and uh, the head sculpt looks beautiful. I mean, look at this. And the burning marks here, kind of a menacing smile that he has. I mean, they really did a great job on the head sculpt here. Let's now take a look at his accessory. As mentioned he comes with his lightsaber and this is a unique sculpt for the lightsaber, a unique design. We can see that uh, he has a huge hilt with these parts that kind of grip the blade and the blade is one of the longest blades that we ever got in the Black Series line. There isn't much paint on the hilt but the sculpt does look nice. You can't storage the hilt 
on his belt. You don't have that option with uh, this release, but you'll probably pose him holding the lightsaber in his hands. So yeah, this uh, lightsaber looks really good. The red translucent plastic of the blade looks nice. It would be great if uh, this guy came with that uh, swooshing effect. I mean, that's something that I would like for all of the characters that are lightsaber users, but unfortunately, that's not the case in the Black Series line. Let's now take a look at his articulation. The head is on a ball joint. That gives us a nice range of movement. He can look down this much, up this much if you force it, but the head kind of wants to fall back into neutral. There is a little bit of tilt side to side and the head can rotate 360. There is a nice butterfly joint. The arms rotate and this shoulder piece moves out of the way and it can rotate alongside the arm. Arms move out this much. Single bend in the elbow gives us this much and the elbow swivels. Right hand has the up and down hinge, while the left hand has the in and out hinge. There is a cut in the torso that gives us side to side movement and a little bit of tilt. It seems like there are two cuts in the torso, here and down here, because the torso does rotate on both points, but it uh, acts like there is a spring on the inside, like you force it to one side and then it jumps back, like it's an action feature from, you know, older figures. Interesting, I mean, you can clearly see that the upper part of the torso moves, the lower part moves as well. So, I don't know what the deal is, but uh, he has those two articulation points and they don't give you as much movement as you would probably think. He crunches forward this much, back this much. There is no tie cut on these new Black Series figures. There is still movement in the hip. Legs move out all the way. They move forward this much, back this much. Single bend in the knee gives us this much. And I also have to mention that the knee pad has the same issue that the previous Clone Trooper figures had, which is the knee pad stays above the knee when you articulate the knee like this. And it should probably be on the lower part of the leg for when you want to put him in kind of kneeling position. This just looks awkward. It should be down here. So the knee also swivels. Feet move forward this much, back this much. We have an ankle pivot and peck holes at the bottom of his feet. Let's now compare our Malgus with some other figures. Here he is with few other Black Series Gaming Greats figures. And uh, on the left side we have Darth Revan, archive version. And on the right we have the new Black Series Darth Malak. And you can see that he towers over both of them. He's the biggest guy in the room. Here he is with the Black Series Black Crescenton and the Black Series Chewbacca from The Force Awakens. Here he is with the Black Series Darth Vader from A New Hope and the Black Series Imperial Stormtrooper. Here he is with the Black Series Mandalorian Din Djarin, best car version with custom soft goods cape and the Black Series Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett. And finally, just for scale reference, here he is with the SH Figure Arts Din Djarin Mandalorian and the SH Figure Arts Book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett from the Throne set. So all in all, this is a great looking figure. I'm extremely satisfied with this release, even though I have no connection, as I said, to the source material, to the game. But I still love what Hasbro did with this figure. It's an imposing, big, beefy looking figure, menacing character. It will go great with the rest of your Sith characters on your shelf, in your collection. And uh, I'm extremely satisfied and extremely happy to have him in my possession. The way that they stitched the hood to the side of his chest is perfect. The cape look looks nice. The only thing that I would say is missing is a little bit of wash, a little bit of weathering that would bring out all of those beautifully sculpted details. But all in all, those are my thoughts. Now I would really like to hear you guys. Is this something that you are looking forward to? Is this something that you'll get for your collection or not? Let me know down in the comments. Stay tuned for a posing video for this guy that will be on the channel soon. And also check out some of my other videos. There are a lot of them on the channel and I hope that you'll find something that you'll enjoy. That's all I wanted to say for this video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here with me and I'll see ya in the next one.